I've seen people change really fast with this principle. I mean, insanely fast. So that idea of a skyrocketing change happens. But the people that do that usually aren't looking for this. They are perfectly happy with the littlest change they get every day. They get a little change, they're excited. They see a little growth, and they're like, wow, that's amazing. A girl smiled at me today. Oh, a girl gave me her phone number. Oh, she didn't call me back, but she, that's the first time she ever gave me her phone number. Or we, we, we stretched two texts before, you know, usually they don't even text me back. And they just get excited over everything and turned on, and they're like, wow, that's really cool. And they grow really fast, and their life changes, what seems like in months, uh, weeks, days, depending on how ready they were for that change. So in this video, I want to talk about one of the philosophies of success. Now, at Fearless, we talk a lot about uh, confidence building for men, dating, uh, becoming more confident, stepping into tension. But we think to become the most powerful version of yourself, to become super successful, not just with women, but in all areas of life, but especially women, you've got to have a really good set of global philosophies, the way you view the world, the way you view growth, the way you view success. And so this one in this series, I think this is going to be the first in the series where I go through these and we're going to probably make a whole series, is all going to be about the uh, 1% rule. And to me, well, the 1% rule is one of the most important philosophies I I teach. And it was a realization I had uh, a long time ago. I was always trying to grow and I was always looking for that quantum leap. I was looking for that big shift in my life. I was looking for that thing that was going to change me overnight. What, this is it. This is it. This is it. Oh, I found the next new thing. And it just wasn't quite happening. Uh, yeah, I get better, but I was getting better through pushing and frustration and pushing and more frustration and more pushing. And my life was uh, a series of, of challenges and it was very difficult. Now, one day my teacher, Carl, said to me, he, he was looking at me and he goes, Brian, stop trying to fix yourself. You're not broken. And that's all he said. And that night I got really mad. I left his class and I was sitting there and I was like, well, why would I be in your class if I wasn't broken? You know, I, I was addicted to fixing myself and I was kind of upset that he told me that. I saw myself as broken and, and if I just stopped trying to fix myself, then my life's not going to go anywhere. And there was this sense that I had this big problem in my life and I needed to fix it. And uh, it just wasn't going anywhere. Well, I thought about that for a long time. And as time went on, I was continuing to work on myself, continuing to look through that big breakthrough because it, what he said didn't make sense to me. And then I was sitting in a class and... I was a class, somebody else's class, and I was looking at the room and there was this woman that raised her hand. And she raised her hand and she was sobbing and she was crying and she was having this big breakthrough. And I thought, oh, awesome, good for her. She's having her breakthrough. And then suddenly I realized, because the teacher knew her on the stage, that she had been coming there for like 10 years and was still working on that breakthrough. Every time she came, another big breakthrough, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Her life was a struggle. Now at the same workshop, another gentleman raised his hand and he started talking about, it was his first workshop, and he started talking about all the stuff he'd implemented from it and how much money he made just in the last 24 hours from his business by implementing some of these beliefs at home, how much this changed, how much that changed. His life was growing. And it hit me that he had a huge breakthrough really fast. And she had been struggling for 10 years. And this light bulb went on. I'm not broken. And I never was broken. But the reason I go to classes is because I'm growing. I'm a human being. I'll always be growing, changing, expanding. Does a tree ever stop growing? And does a tree think it's broken? No. Then I looked a little deeper and I said, well, then what is the nature of growth? Because that, that takes us to another philosophy I'll go a little deeper into another time called perfectly imperfect. You're perfect just the way you are. But let's get back to the 1% rule because now I looked a little deeper. And I looked at my own students and I said, you know, I push them pretty hard sometimes and we go for it and we get a lot of changes, but it's work. I said, what if, and this was many, many years ago, what if... I stopped looking for everybody's big change altogether. I threw it out the window, throw out the quantum leap. So I threw out the quantum leap and I said, what if I just start looking for little 1% incremental changes every day? If I can improve somebody's life 1% a day for 30 days, how much will their life change? 90 days, how much will it change? In a year, how much will it change? And how hard is it to improve 1%? Even one one hundredth of a percent over a year is going to be radical. The compounding interest on that is crazy. 
So that's when I also found a book by a gentleman named Jeff, uh, Jeff Olson called The Slight Edge, where he's talked about compounding interest and the power of it. And all these realizations came into my mind. And I thought, hmm, this is interesting because Jeff doesn't believe in the quantum leap. Jeff would say, quantum leap's a bunch of BS. And I saw these teachers teaching the quantum leap. And I think that they're just out for people's money because if they sell the idea of the quantum leap, everybody will want to buy their program. But real success is little incremental things done every day, innocuous things that don't seem like they do much. Like, you know, my workout's only 15 minutes, but I'm going to do it every day anyways. You know, it doesn't matter if I do it today. It doesn't matter if I have that donut today. It's not going to make a difference. I won't notice it in the mirror tomorrow. But oh, compounded over time, it has a massive effect. It's also the same in the in reverse, you would say, that like all of a sudden that little 1% changes compound downward into failure. And so when you think about this, that, that that's why when somebody's 50, 60 years old, one looks really old and ragged a lot of times and the other looks healthy and vital is because they've been compounding for so many years in one direction or the other. That compounding interest is huge, guys. It's powerful when you think about it. But I also had another teacher. David Nagel, who I also admire immensely and has taught me a lot. And uh, Jeff Olson was somebody I read a book on. I took some classes from in a big group. But David Nagel, I'd worked on a one-on-one -on -one with. I've worked with him a little bit directly. And he did believe in the quantum leap. He believed in it because Bob Proctor convinced him to have a quantum leap. And he, suddenly overnight, he went from basically in a few months, he went from 60000 a year in his job to 60000 a month. And he never made less than that the rest of his life. His whole life took off. Because Bob challenged him, said, turn your yearly income into your monthly income because I know you can do it. And he said, I didn't believe that could happen. At first, I was like, you're kidding, Bob. And Bob said, no, I'm not kidding. So Bob was almost pulling this quantum leap out of him, saying it's time to have your quantum leap. So then I thought about that. I thought, well, what is the difference between Jeff and David and Bob, in a sense? What is the difference that, that one believes in the quantum leap and one doesn't? And then it hit me. They're the same thing. They're saying the same thing, but they're looking at it from two different perspectives. You see, if you practice actual compounding interest, 1% changes every day, what do you get? If you do it every day, day in and day out, the compounding eventually takes off like a rocket. If you take a penny and you do the math on it and you double it every day for 31 days, you have over $10 million doubled every day. Just double, 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 double. And right in the last week is when you see the rocket take off. And that's how life works. As you compound your growth every day, eventually your whole life just takes off in different areas. But it might take years in some areas. It might take months in some areas. It depends on how much uh, of the foundation you built already through compounding interest. So if you're constantly starting compounding interest and stopping, that's bad. But if you're constantly starting compounding interest and stopping then compounding back down, which is what most people do, that's even worse because it'll seem like your life is going nowhere forever because every time you start to go like this, then you start to go like that and, and, uh, a week later and your life literally is going nowhere. It's going just kind of up and down. And so what I realized was Bob knew that David had done all this work. He'd really changed himself. He'd really shifted himself. He'd done all this amazing work on himself. And he'd built that powerful foundation through compounding interest because he'd been working with Bob and different teachers, Tony Robbins, for years. And he'd really changed who he was being. So Bob just used the opportunity to see how much he had compounded and said he challenged him to change his life overnight because he knew he was ready. He could see it. He was ready for that change. It wasn't some magical thing that happened overnight. It was all this years of work that caused this shift to change inside of him and had a big change. Now, here's the magic of what I'm talking about. I've seen people change really fast with this principle. I mean, insanely fast. So that idea of a skyrocketing change happens. But the people that do that usually aren't looking for this. They are perfectly happy with the littlest change they get every day. They get a little change, they're excited. They see a little growth, and they're like, wow, that's amazing. A girl smiled at me today. Oh, a girl gave me her phone number. Oh, she didn't call me back, but she, that's the first time she ever gave me her phone number. Or we, we, we stretched two texts before, you know, usually they don't even text me back. And they just get excited over everything and turned on, and they're like, wow, that's really cool. And they grow really fast, and their life changes, what seems like in months, uh, weeks, days, depending on how ready they were for that change. Other people come in, and they're really heavy and they've got a lot of negativity. And that's a big part of what we have to work on. We have to use compounding interest to shift all that downward thinking 
it, to upward thinking. And if you ever meet our coach, um, Sam Pond, who works for the company, he was like that. He was very negative when he came in. We had to do a lot of work to get him to start to see the beauty in the world through positivity and through, uh, through his own uh, confidence and self-love. Eventually he did. And his life started to turn around. And now he's an amazing coach. He's having an amazing life. He travels the world. He lives a life of adventure. And he's 64 years old. and His life just keeps getting better and better and better. So let this marinate for a minute. It's a powerful come from when you think about it. Look at me. I, I look pretty young. I look pretty healthy. I'm, I'm 51. Uh, next month, I'll be 52. And yet, I feel younger every year, healthier every year, because I use these principles to take my health in a better direction every year, to take my life in a better direction, to open my heart, to, to get proper endorphins flowing, to clean up my body, to change my reality. If you look back at older videos, just look back on YouTube with some of the older videos, you can see the difference in me. And that's because I've been doing it for the last few years pretty heavily. I've been more into health than anything. I'm uh, getting my hormones straight and not through artificial means. I'm not taking TRT. I'm not doing any hormone replacement therapy. I'm learning to do it the right way. So with that said, just remember, if you can start and you can get comfortable and you can get good at compounding every day, You'll be shocked at how much your life will change just in one year, three months, six months. And the second year, if you, if you do it for the first year, my God, that second year will blow up. Anthony Robbins said that many years ago. Your first year, if you do a morning practice every day and just a little bit of change every morning through a daily practice will be astounding and the second year will be even more amazing. And that is so true. And by the way, I believe in morning rituals. Maybe we'll do a video on that. I believe in this whole idea of a daily practice to learn to focus your mind. You could do a little bit in the morning, a little bit in the afternoon. When I started my morning practices, I was so negative. I had such a compounding negative thinking process that I did a daily practice of um, in the morning and then a few hours later, then an hour later, and then anytime I got negative. And so I was stopping five, six times a day to clean up my thinking because I knew that that was just a tape recording in the back of my mind. I'd learned that and it was time to clean that up. Uh, actually, just get that book, The Slight Edge, read that and, uh, and start a practice of just what any area you want, whether it's women or not, of celebrating your 1% improvements every day. Find a 1%, 1 percent, one one hundredth of a percent, whatever, and just celebrate it every day, every day, every day, right? Write it down, you know, do a morning practice, then at night, uh, do an evening practice where you just look at them, review all the great changes, what you've realized, what you've learned, even if it's just a little bit, like a success journal, read it before you go to bed and watch how your life starts to change over time. Give it uh, a minimum of 30 days, preferably 90 days if you're super negative and just keep working on that. Keep work going in that direction and you will radically shift your life. Okay. So this is the 1% rule. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to comment below. And especially comment if you're going to do this. And I love it when you come back and comment later on the results you got. That's really powerful for us. You know, comment that I'm going to do it and then come back in like 30 days or 60 days or whatever. And just comment on what's happening. Some of you will start getting changes literally within a week and start seeing differences. It depends on where your starting point is. Um, so make sure to comment in the video. That's huge. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification because I want to make sure you get all these videos. And also make sure to share. If there's anybody you think can use this, share it because the sharing really helps the algorithm helps us to grow the channel we need to grow the channel a lot we've been growing a little slow because our content's deeper it's not designed for entertainment it's designed to go deeper so we're looking for those deep people that really want a deep change in their life not just something to distract them and get a serotonin hit so if you know people like that make sure to share and remember that only the confident really live and if you really want to build your confidence these global beliefs are huge take care have a beautiful day